good morning welcome to a new video i am oh i am just all over the place at the moment i've been wanting to put my camera up and vlog and say hi to you all and then i don't know what happens every day it just gets away with me i'm just still i mean we still have i'd say like four boxes to unpack so we are getting there very very slowly but i thought today is the day I'm on it. I've actually been back in my really good morning routine and like evening routine as well because I noticed when we've been moving I just got into such bad habits. We were just so busy and by the time I actually stopped and sat down it would be like 10 o'clock at night and I would either just fall asleep in front of the TV or I was going to bed and like sitting on my phone and scrolling for hours and staying up really late and then sleeping in and it was just couldn't be any further from like my normal routine. So last night I thought I'm just going to be determined. I went straight into bed, put my phone on the other side of the room, I read. I had the best night's sleep I think I've had since we moved in here last night. I slept all the way through and then my alarm went out at 5am this morning. I thought I'm going to go back to my 5am morning starts, my 5am morning routine and oh my god I feel so good for it so I got up at five I had my water my vitamins I read my manifestation book that I've been reading I journaled I did a to-do list for the day I did a 10 minutes morning meditation which was amazing and I went on a big dog walk chatted to my sister for like 45 minutes had a healthy breakfast and yeah, it was just a really, really good start to my day. I really wanted to do some yoga, but I have no idea where my yoga mat is. And we've got hard floors throughout, so I was like, I'm not doing it on a hard floor. I just had a really good start to the day, and I think it just shows that it's then allowed me to have, feel like I have enough time and I'm not like chasing my tail all day because I can actually pick my camera up and chat with you girls today. So I'm hoping, I'm determined to stay back in my good, early morning routines like that 5am start I know it sounds so early but if you are like busy throughout the day especially like if you're a mum as well if you can get into that habit of getting a 5am start it just for me it sets me up for the day so well it just gives me that like me time before everyone else gets up and wants everything from me all day long I just feel like it recharges my battery and makes me feel like I can actually just get through the day. So yeah, it's been a good morning. I hope you're all really, really good as well. Thank you for all the lovely messages on my last video when I updated you on my cancer journey. Um, it's feeling good, yeah, I'm feeling like, it's feeling like a fresh start. So yeah, I'm just about to do my makeup. I'm gonna go for a bit of a, um, I'm gonna go for a bit of a like glowy, everyday look uh, but I'm really loving blusher I found a new blusher that I absolutely love it's like a really nice mix between a blush and a bronzer so it gives you that really gorgeous like holiday skin so I thought I definitely want to use that today um, my eyes are really sore again I don't know what keeps making my eyes so sore I'm trying to like narrow down what it is I think it might be some vitamin C serum that I was using um, because I used it yesterday and I've not used it in a in a while in a few days or in a little while and then by yesterday evening my eyes have gone all dry again so I've had to put some like E45 on and hope for the best. I really don't want to have to like go back to the doctors about it. But so if you're thinking like why do your eyes look about 70 years old throughout this whole video? It's because my uh, sensitive skin on my eyes again, it's just, it's killing me at the moment. My hair's also at like the most strange length at the moment. I've decided I am going to grow it. I want to grow it to about here and just see how it feels like um, a little bit longer. I do, I mean, I do like it short and I do, I don't know, I'm scared. I feel like if I chopped it off dead short again, it would be really cool but I kind of want to just keep growing. I feel like I've come this far. I want to just keep growing it and see how it is. I have a H&M order as well that I'm going to um, unpack with you and we will go through that together uh, after. But, uh, do you remember um, a few weeks ago when I showed you that I had updated my makeup routine quite a bit? 
um, and I was going for a lot more kind of uh, dewy and kind of a less makeup look. And I shared with you all those amazing Art Deco products that, oh my God, you girls went insane for. Um, the lipstick also, if some of you, I know so many of you didn't manage to pick one up, um, but it's actually back in stock in May. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll share, I'll try and share out on my Instagram when it comes back in, because I know so many of you missed it. Um, but after I fell in love with the brand so much, I wanted to test out some more of their products and I feel like um, I feel like makeup trends for this year have changed so much and steered really away from like like the over-the-top matte like heavy makeup and I just got to the point where I felt like my makeup routine was looking a little bit dated and just not what I wanted I felt like every time I do my makeup I wasn't really liking it and I just got stuck in a bit of a makeup rut but after testing out a lot of these products they've actually given me I don't know like a whole new way of doing my makeup and just for like an everyday look I just think they're so nice this is a newish product in my makeup bag I've had this about two weeks now it's the Art Deco Art Deco Perfect Taint Tea perfect taint illuminator so it's like a concealer but it's um also as you can see like so brightening put under your eyes i always pop a little bit here as well and down my nose but with my eyes as well being so sensitive i find sometimes a concealer can be too heavy or too drying and this isn't it's absolutely perfect so i've been using this every day since i got it it's um it's a real game changer. Even if I'm just like going on the school run, I've been kind of using this and then a little bit of the blusher, which I can't wait to show you because it's so gorgeous um, and I'm good to go really. And then I also picked up this, which I really like. I was talking about, I think last time, about how I wanted to use more like creamy consistencies um, on my eyes rather than pad powdery because my eyes have been so sore. Um, I've been really staring towards things that are less drying and I found this it is their high performance eyeshadow stylo to uh, 21 it's waterproof and it's kind of a mix between you can kind of you can use it as an eyeliner or you can also use it as like an eye crayon I've been using it to kind of line my eyes and then smudge it out it just gives such a nice like bronzy look to it which I'm really, really liking at the moment, especially now the weather is getting better. I'm actually going to do my eyes first today. I don't usually do my eyes first, but because my makeup is a lot more, well, it's just a bit less than normal, I'm finding myself doing it this way around so much more. Roughly line my eyes and then just do my lower lash line. And then I just blend it out. To give a really nice like it's a really nice like bronzy brown smoky eye but still it's like super natural when all the rest of my makeup is on i'm finding myself like leaning much more towards like a 90s kind of makeup look so i've been doing a lot of like smoky eyes which i've not done for a long time then my brows, oh my god, I found some amazing products for my brows. I love that this year, um, brows are just getting bigger and bigger. I was really worried that like the thin brow trend was going to come back, but it's not. It's all about big, bushy, defined brows. Art Deco Pro Tip Brow Liner 15, it has this amazing, I hope you can see, like the brush has like these like staggered details to it so it gives you like a really feathery fine finish. I've been using this to kind of get the shape on my brows and what I like about this is if you feel like you want a day where you just want your brows to kind of look full but still natural, this is the perfect product and it's 
So that's both brows done. You see, it just fills them out and gives that nice shape. So, the, so I use this brow liner to get the shape and then I go in with this, which is their ultra fine brow liner and I use this to define and then just do those really lovely like hair strokes so it looks much more natural and bushy. This, you can see, has got such a fine tip to it so it's perfect to get those like hair strokes. So I use this just to go in on the bottom just to get that really nice shape and to bulk them out and I always extend my brow outwards as well I mean my eyebrows are non-existent um, and I have microblade in which is worn, worn off quite a bit um, but I have no like I do not have big fluffy feathery brows and I feel like these two products are the perfect combo just to get like that texture in there so you can just use this fine pencil and it just gives you those really natural looking um, hair strokes like you would get with microblading and then as always my secret weapon I just go over with like an old dried mascara just to add that extra little bit of texture it can be literally any mascara that's just dried out and not too heavy and then when you see like they look textured um, and trust me I have no eyebrows I was a teenager in the 90s so I have no brows left um, so that's like eyebrows done and then I'm still in love with this mascara I've used this every single day since I received it like a month ago Art Deco Twist for Volume Mascara it is the most perfect feathery natural mascara it gives you that length without clogging without looking cakey and I don't get any of the black bits under my eyes I genuinely always get because I wear because um, I wear contact lenses I'm always touching my eyes more and this is the only mascara that I've used that doesn't do that to me <laughs> it is so lovely so my eyelashes I mean you can see also pretty non-existent so that is just one really quick coat of mascara and it just gives such a nice natural like everyday look without being OTT they are just it's just such a gorgeous mascara so it's mascara on both eyes I have been using the most tiny amount of foundation lately and just mixing it with like a serum so that you get that nicer um, like more dewy look rather than a really caked on foundation look um, so I'm just going to pop that on and then a little bit of illuminator and then I'm going to show you this insane blush that just finishes off this look so perfectly. So that is my foundation and a little bit of contour done. You know the drill on my contour so I don't feel like I need to go over that again for you. I'm just going to run downstairs and get my lipsticks because they're in my bag because I've been wearing them on repeat so I'll be too sexy. And a new favourite lipstick look for me at the moment is like one that's like barely there um, and it's much more kind of like lip liner and then um, a lip gloss over the top. So I'm just going to line my lips quickly. I did very roughly line them with, with a contour, my contouring brush. Just so they look a little bit more plump. And this lipstick that I'm about to show you is like, it's like, um, it's a mix between a lipstick and a lip balm. So it gives you this really gorgeous, like natural look to it. And this summer's like makeup trends are all 
uh, like lips are like that real like contoured lip look so I absolutely love this lipstick because it just gives you a kind of like contoured but really like natural look it's called color enhancing lip balm and oh my god it gives you the most gorgeous natural lip for every day but it's also like so hydrating and it's kind of like a lip glossy kind of vibe without being too glossy because i'm not really sure that i'm all there for the lip gloss look i've just really not been enjoying a lip gloss so this gives you like it gives you the most gorgeous finish and color and it's so hydrating but look how natural it is i absolutely love it and then teamed with this bronzer that i feel like i'm gonna rave to everybody about there's one blusher you need to buy this year it is this art deco blusher it is color 13 brown orange blush i also love how small and compact it is it's perfect for like i've just had it in my handbag i've been using this brush i don't really think this is the brush that you're supposed to use for a blusher but i feel like it gives you that precise placement of the blusher to get that you know like on those filters where it's all like um almost like you just caught the sun it gives you that kind of effect so i just get load my brush up and then it just finishes your makeup i feel like how did i stop wearing blusher for so long you see like it just gives you that gorgeous glow and then i just kind of place some up here as well just to blend it in my battery died just as i was showing you that so i've just nipped upstairs to get dressed a lot of my makeup bag has been taken over by art deco and i didn't realize how many um, makeup artists actually use this makeup so many of you messaged me and said you'd had you'd use certain products um when makeup artists have been doing your makeup or for your wedding and things like that um so i always think that's a good sign i have been telling everybody i know about art deco because i just love their makeup and i think for the trends and the makeup looks at the moment they are just the most perfect like consistencies and yeah huge big fan so you have an art deco code i'll put it on the screen for you because you can use that as well to get amazing discount the prices are amazing the quality is so good so definitely go and check them out so yeah all the products that i've used i'll link them in the description box for you but yeah new little summery makeup look that i am really enjoying wearing at the moment i feel like the last few years i kind of like fell down that hole of like wearing a bit too much matte and too much foundation and actually I love now just having my skin showing through I think because I've really been like taking care of my skin I just feel a lot more confident now and not I don't feel the need to plaster my face full of foundation so I just really like this look let me know what you think in the comments but for just like an everyday makeup look this is just the vibe I go for pretty much every day now. So yeah, I've just kind of got dressed. Um, I'm gonna show you my outfit in two seconds. I actually have a really nice day today because my sister's coming tonight and we're going to watch Claudia Winkleman. She's got like a, she actually has a show which is called Behind the Fringe, which is like, um, I think it's basically her just chatting. If you've read her book, um, Quite, it's called, oh my God, it's so good. It's like listening to like all of your friends just ramble on. Um, it's it's just an amazing book and I absolutely love it. I actually listened to it on Audible twice and it's like my go-to when I just want something really easy to listen to. I listened to it um, when I was having my treatment and when I was ill with my cancer. Um, so when I saw she was doing like a show, I don't think it's like a stand-up because she's not a comedian, but I think it's basically her just sitting and like chatting um, and like you can have your fringe cut and things. So yeah, me, my sister and um, Effie are going to that. My mum was supposed to be coming, but she's got off on a last minute holiday so it's just the three of us and um i thought i'd put something kind of like nice on that i can wear and potentially just keep on for this evening i think we're either i mean i'm gonna do some food here or we're gonna go for a quick little pizza express or something before we go to the theater 
Um, so I put something nice on, so I'll show you my outfit now. So my outfit for today is this black, like ribbed, it's kind of like a midi dress. I'm a little bit worried these belt, these buttons might gape. <laughs> So I might have to put some big pants on with it, like ribbed long sleeve dress. So I thought it'd be perfect to like wear today and then dressy enough to wear tonight. I would say, I would recommend to size up though because this is a size eight. I thought maybe it might be that ribbed material where it's kind of loose, but it's not. It's really quite tight fitted. So I kind of wish I'd got a 10. Um, I'm gonna change my underwear because I have gray pants on. <laughs> you can see them through the here where it's just gaping, but I think as I wear it throughout the day, it will kind of loosen off. But I really like it, how cute is it? It's like one of those dresses that you could wear super casual or dress up as well. And then my sandals. These, I don't think I've shown you these. These are my Gucci sandals and I thought I need to wear them in because they keep rubbing my feet because of the leather needs like breaking in. So I thought I'll wear them around the house today and then um, I can probably wear these this evening or switch them for something else but I need to just start wearing them otherwise they're never gonna get they're never gonna get worn in and I just want them to be so comfy because I love them so much and they look so cute with um like summer outfits I think I will I'll probably use this little bag tonight when we go out and then a leather jacket as well. So I think that's a cute little outfit. Ignore the uh, boxes still everywhere. This is the last of the unpacking and like sorting out that I need to do. Okay, so, so I thought that outfit was okay and then I just filmed a TikTok outfit of the day and literally the whole way through the TikTok, you could see my underwear and the dress was gaping. I'm like, what the hell? Thank God I recorded that video and didn't go out anywhere. It was like, it was fine when I stood like this in front of the mirror straight on and then the minute I turned to the side, you could literally see everything. So I've just quickly got changed. So the second outfit of the day, I've actually just changed for this cute little flowy dress. This is from In The Style. Uh, it's one of the Lorna Lux ones. It was actually from last year. If it is still in stock, I will link it for you. It's so comfy, but it's actually so windy today. So I'm gonna have to wear like a heavy leather jacket over or something over the top of it when I go out so that um, I don't flash everything. But this is so much better. I've still got the sandals on, but this is just more me. What it is about maxi dresses, I see them on other people, but on my, fl on my figure, like, uh, a fitted maxi dress I just never like it I always think it, I want to wear it and then as soon as I put it on it's just not flattering for my shape at all so uh, yeah so I've got change I'm gonna make some lunch and um, let's open these parcels together <laughs> moved in properly Richard still has some jobs to do down here but I have a load of Amazon fashion pieces that I wanted to share with you and open up and do a little haul I feel like there's not quite enough to do like a proper haul so I thought I'd just like do it as part of this video today and I also have some accessories as well so where I think I'll start here with the clothes so I'll do a little try on as well um and put it like on the screen so you can see. So the first thing that I got was this maxi dress. I thought this was so cute. It's like 
a brown camely colour and then it's got this kind of like almost like plaited design to it and it's just like a super long I thought it was kind of like skims vibe I got it quite a few weeks back now um, and it's got these cutouts I just need to find a really good bra to wear with it um, I kind of need like a strapless-y bra but one that's like really comfy to wear so if anyone has any um, recommendations on a comfy really good strapless bra for like a D bust please let me know in the comments because I can just never ever find a decent one but I thought this was really cute and really nice for summer I thought it'd be really nice um, with like a blazer over the top like kind of dressed up as well so I got that I thought that was absolutely gorgeous I'm a big fan of a white dress in the summer and I saw this gorgeous one it's almost like um, you know like a cheesecloth kind of material and it's just a white floaty sleeves big like smock flared kind of shape to it so I thought it'd be really really lovely for summer I love dresses like this in summer they're so easy to wear and this one I was really pleased with because it is actually double lined as well so you don't have that worry of feeling like um it's going to be a little bit see-through so I thought that was absolutely gorgeous and then I also got these jeans so these are from Naked Fashion um, but on Amazon, they actually have so many things on Amazon. Uh, Naked Fashion actually have so many pieces on Amazon, and they're these straight legged um, jeans. So I thought they were kind of cool. I thought they'd look really cute for like date nights, you know, with like a nice pair of heels. So I got a UK 10. I don't know whether they're going to be a little bit too big, you know. They kind of look quite big. I don't know, but we'll try them on and see. But I got those. And then I got, I couldn't resist. I'm so bad when it comes to New Balance. I just, I love them so much. I think they're just such an easy, wearable trainer. And I saw these and I really, really love them. I love a bit of pop of colour on a trainer at the moment. So, they are these ones. How nice are they? So they were just off Amazon. They are called, what are they called? I'll put a link in the description because I'm not 100% sure like what number they are. You know like New Balance normally have like a number. Oh here we go. They're 997H. I just love the colours. I thought they'd be really nice for like really cute like you know like jogger shorts and t-shirts or like little jogger short like track suits in summer and then these I thought they would be so cute and I also am starting. So Rick is a personal trainer and he's actually started me a whole plan so I'm getting back into fitness and we're doing like loads of like body weight lean toning exercises so we're doing it Monday to Friday so I'm working out like Monday to Friday every single week so I just wanted to get another couple of pairs of trainers just to like chuck on when we're doing like workouts and stuff so I absolutely love these just with little shorts like a proper little summery trainer so I got those then I also picked up oh I can get into the box Oh, I got another one of these. It's this. Elemis Superfood um, Cleansing Butter. So I tried, I've not tried the cleansing butter before. I've only tried the cleansing balms. But I actually really like this. It feels like such a treat every night. So I bought another one of those just to stay topped up. They're a really good price as well on um, Amazon. And they're, I think, I'm sure they're cheaper than the cleansing balms and this one is pumpkin cherry and mango butter cleanses brightens and nourishes it is so lovely like a really nice little treat and then I got this and I'm really excited about it so I need you to help me so I saw this and I thought this is like vintagey vibes like real like 90s kind of style and I thought I really like this but when it came I was expecting it to be like small so I thought it was like a little like 90s like little you know like shoulder shoulder bag so I was expecting it to be like half the size of this but then I can't decide whether I like it or not I'm feeling, thinking like just a cute little bag for every day and I actually kind of like that it's a little bit bigger but it's still kind of chic so I'm really undecided about it I've not taken like the labels off because I'm really unsure whether to keep it or not I mean I feel like it's super retro-y looking which I kind of like 
but I was just expecting it to be so much smaller, you know, like a really cute one that I could just like chuck on. But then now I see it like this with this little white dress, I kind of like it. It's kind of cute, isn't it? I feel like it's kind of chic. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think to this. I think I'm going to keep it. I might wear it tonight and see see what I think. I feel like it's kind of cute. It fits a lot in. It's a good like mum bag, you know? It's got a lot of space in there. And I like that it's kind of like retro-y looking. We will see. Amazon. I'm absolutely loving Amazon fashion at the moment. Like, I just think, I feel like once you figure out how to shop on Amazon, there's so many good things on there. I really, really, really want the Birkenstock like slip on clogs because I have like my mule ones from Zara and I really like those and I wear them a lot. Um, and then I feel like I kind of want the clocks. Ooh, I don't know. They're a real like love or hate shoe, aren't they? Um, so yeah, that was a little, there's a little, um, some little Amazon goodies for you. If you are also um, a bit like me and love a bit of an Amazon, a little bit of an Amazon shop. Uh, I'm gonna go and, Ooh. I'm gonna go get sorted now because my sister is probably gonna be here in like two hours and it's half two the kids are gonna um, so I need to sort the kids out from school and then just get sorted I don't know whether to nip and go and get some food I think I might because the weather's actually really nice like it's brightening up for the evening so potentially like we can just sit in the kitchen with the doors open and have some like picky bits of food before we go um, before before we go to the theatre but I'm so looking forward to seeing my sister camera won't sit straight it's on the sofa but yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing my sister and just having a bit of a girly night it'll be really nice and I absolutely love Claudia Winkleman I just think she's hilarious I want her to be my best friend I said to my sister I feel like I just want to go and stalk all around town this like today because surely she must be here and I feel like I just want to pop into her and be friends forever but um but yeah, I'm going to refrain from doing that. So yeah, I'm going to go and get sorted. I've got some washing to sort out, some bedding and stuff like that. And then yeah, I'm going to, when I pick the boys up from school, I'm going to do a mad dash and go and get some like picky bits of food. And we'll do that tonight, I think. <laughs> Good morning, I am currently in the boys room, I am just about to start packing their stuff up because they're going to their dad's, um, they're going to their dad's tonight so I'm literally about to just like start grabbing football clothes and all that kind of stuff for them. Um, let me just move you here, excuse the chaos, we are still um, <coughs> waiting on like shelves and stuff to go up so there's all like this kind of stuff to sort out but um yeah I just thought I'd come in that uh, I thought I'd just grab my tripod really quickly while I'm sorting all this out because last night was so good Claudia Winkleman oh my goodness who knew Claudia Winkleman was that hilarious I feel like it was like stand up but even better and she was just like completely just her insanely funny self she is just, she's literally one of my favourite like celebrity famous people, like how hilarious is she? Sorry, let me just grab these, oh. let me just grab these football boots. She was just so good, if there is ever a show that she does again, it was her last night last night, but if she ever does a show again and you get the chance to go and watch tickets, oh my gosh she's so funny and also if you haven't already read her book, she is just so amazing like so funny i want her to be my best friend i'm sorry i didn't vlog anything but like i don't know me and my sister once she got here i was like working and stuff and then when she got here at five we just sat and like had loads of like picky bits for picky like bits for tea and i just completely forgot to put my camera up because we were just chatting away you know what it's like but i thought i'd just pop on really quickly and just end the vlog while i'm just like rushing around and getting sorted um but I'm going to put my camera up tomorrow and vlog a little bit more. I'm actually going to get in some of my aesthetics treatments done. So I thought I'll bring you along for that. Because I know you girls like, are always interested in like the Botox I get done. And my treatments on my neck. Um, the skin boosters. And I also get Botox on my neck now. Because I get really strong, like pronounced... I don't know what they're called. You know like the Deirdre neck? 
like these I think it's because I'm quite expressive when I talk I think it's because my neck's quite thin <laughs> and I don't have a lot of like fat or anything I just feel like it's one of those things that really bothers me and last time I had it done it made such a difference and it's just worn off now like I mean the last time I had this done was before I even started my, my cancer treatment so it lasted so long but so yeah I'll bring you along for all of that and if you've got any questions and stuff leave them in the comments and then I can make sure that I answer them in the next video. I will catch up with you all soon and I hope you all have a really good Sunday. Don't forget if there are any of the Art Deco products that you want to check out make sure you use my discount code so you can get a discount on them all and feel free to just message me any questions you have on Instagram DM or in the comments on any of the makeup stuff because I'm always happy to chat through that with you. So have a great weekend and I will see you all very soon. Bye!